Welcome to the Wind Up Project. I'm Marla Mogul. I have been collecting wind up toys for over 30 years. I have more than 1,000 toys in my collection. My mission is to share the fun, the joy, the laughter that I get with the rest of the world. You're looking to have more fun in your life? Please subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you some what I call slithery toys. And I call them slithery toys because they are very different than just a traditional wind-up toy in that they actually have these mechanisms that make them, I call it slithering. These four are caterpillars, which are the most common types of slithery wind-up toys. The only difference here is the color of their body, the color of their antenna, and the color of their spots. These three have the black spots. This one has the white spots with the black outline. Let's see how these work. <laughs> they go pretty fast. And you can see the middle portion of the body is actually where the two mechanisms meet. So you can actually see where it moves up and down is in the middle. Caterpillars have been used in many stories and movies. The most popular is probably the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and the other is probably from Alice in Wonderland. Well, I'm glad that I showed this one last because it's, oh, he does work. That one just needed a little push. How cute. Okay, next, there's another caterpillar here, but very differently designed. He's actually very cute because he has a baseball cap and his eyes are on the side of his head. Fun fact, caterpillars actually don't see very well. They have these very little eyes. They can distinguish dark from light, but they can't really distinguish an image. This slithery toy is a dog. And I can't really tell what kind of breed it is because he's got a few different features here. He's got spots like a Dalmatian. He's low to the ground, as are all the slithery toys. He's got his nose. He's seeking something on the ground, which leads me to believe his face looks like a bloodhound or a basset hound. Then if you look at the tail, it looks like a poodle's tail, a poodle that's been groomed with that ball at the top. Let's see what the dog does. Oh yes, he's definitely hunting for something. So cute. If you like these slithery toys and you like toys in general, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The last slithery toys are two cats. I've got a pink cat, I've got an orange cat. I think they're from Rust Toys, I'm not sure. And I think the other caterpillars, they may be Tomy Toys. The only one that I have to identify is this one has the Rust sticker on it. Let's see what these kitties do. <laughs> Very cute. These also, just like the dogs, they look like they may be hunting for something like a mouse, probably. So cute. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed seeing these little slithery wind-up toys. If you like what you saw here today, please subscribe to my channel. And remember, keep smiling. Thank you, Rachel.